Libor. I'm in the shop, have chosen a suit and airbag I want. So what happens next after this selection process? What information will I receive? What's next? Exactly, just as you say. Next we have a checklist which every sales professional follows on handover. The first point is to check that the system is ready, charged, all components including the charger and instructions are present, and so on. The next, as we see now, is the placement into the suit, which is done with the aid of two zips along with Velcro fastening and then the connection of the cabling to the lights on the sleeve. Is the airbag transferable? Maybe I have two suits. I sometimes use for racing and then go to the normal road. So I don't need to buy two airbags. I can just switch between them, right? Exactly, you're right. Just undo the two zippers and Velcro, disconnect a connector and swap it into another garment. Which of course is very useful and the sales staff will explain how to do it. Absolutely. Good. When the airbag is in place, the salesperson will show me how to activate the system and most importantly, help me to get dressed into the suit. Even though I'm used to standard ones, the airbag type is a little different. Yes, the salesperson will now show how to activate the airbag, that is, where the main switch is. This is where the Velcro is activated after switching, especially before each ride. The staff will help you with your first fit. Let's try. The attentive viewer will notice Sir Shen stuffed into the suit, looking ready to burst and wearing some funky socks. The other thing is that I can't fully move, but that's fine. This is a race suit designed and manufactured to restrict certain movement when falling from a bike. That means it's not for walking in, but must feel good when sat on the motorcycle as I am now. Now, Libor, I'm wearing the airbag suit, sat on the bike. The fact that I don't have shoes doesn't matter. As I reach for the handlebars, I'd like you to explain to me, just as you would to everyone, what do I need to do and consider in this kind of suit? So, you're exactly right when you say this is a racing suit, specifically meant to allow movement on the bike, and not best suited to walking. In particular, this garment is specially made for the Alpine Stars Tech Air System. So, we turn on the main switch, here on the chest. Good, so here I activate the airbag system. Exactly so, system activated. Ah, uh, I see it. Yes. The LED lights illuminate as the control system cycles. Each point is detailed in the provided manual. Wait, I'm going to turn a bit. Okay, I have the bag activated, ready to go out of the garage on a bike adventure. Just how does the system work? How does it protect me? The moment you leave, the entire system is active. For riding on the normal road, street mode will have been selected. In this setting, the system is set to primarily monitor for and protect against impacts. This can be crashes into fixed obstacles or for others crashing into the user, such as when hit from behind by a car. The control unit is constantly monitoring and as soon as it detects a problem, sends a trigger signal to the inflation cylinders. That shall fill the bag within 45 milliseconds. The bag shall, after a short time, begin to deflate with the whole process complete within about five seconds. This is primarily for race situations where the rider will be able to get back to their feet after those few seconds, and if all is well, be able to remount and carry on. That's why the bag does not remain inflated. I can carry on, unrestricted by the airbag. That is an important detail. In layman's terms, this means I'm riding the bike as normal. There's nothing different from usual. I can move freely, enjoy the ride, fully protected. The moment the bike hits an obstacle for whatever reason, the airbag instantly inflates before I actually impact with anything. Similarly, I may be sitting stationary in a line of traffic and the car behind me doesn't brake and crashes into me. I leave the bike and again, the bag inflates before I hit something. I go to other places like the gas pump and normally get off the bike so the vest doesn't activate but maybe sometime I stop, don't get my foot down quick enough and roll on the ground. The airbag will go off, right? Most probably not. The sensors and software are configured such that slight accidental movement will not be enough to trigger the system. Also very important information. Right then, so if I'm sat on my race bike at the track and have selected race mode instead of street, Explain the differences to me. Okay. 
When race mode is selected, the system will primarily sense for a loss of control, such as losing traction. It means the system monitors in a different manner to detect problems. If I can interrupt a moment, imagine I'm on the track, lose the front end and slide down the road. The airbag will go off even though there was no impact. Is that the difference to street mode? Also, once the airbag goes off, it deflates after about five seconds so I can get back on the bike and restart without being restricted by the airbag having gone off. In race mode, on the track, if there is any accident, the system triggers, the bag inflates, then deflates within five seconds or so, and you can continue as there is still one more cartridge left. In race mode, the airbag can be deployed twice. Okay. If I fall three times during a race, which I can do, I may not damage the bike. I still want to ride in the suit that day or the next until I'm able to get to the service center. Can I use the suit and still be protected? You are protected, even though the bag has been triggered, as often as it can, and is no longer active, the system includes a high quality back protector. So even though at that moment you don't have a working airbag, you can still ride and the suit is as safe as any other. So when I have no more airbag protection, it's just as if I'm wearing a regular suit with a back protector. Yes, and when the time comes to send the airbag in for service, if the suit is fine, then there is no need to send it to. Just use any back protector and you shall have the standard protection. Once I've used all the capacity, both cylinders, then I will need to visit the service center with the airbag. Exactly right. We must make a complete service, which we do within 10 working days. You've already answered my next question, which is important for the racers who will use it a lot. If I smack myself, then it's gonna cost me 10 working days. 